Daisy, and today I'm going to show you how to thread a Singer 1425. But first, before I start, I will tell you the history of this sewing machine. So a long, long time ago, my grandma Mina, she used to use the sewing machine a lot because it was hers. And when she passed away, we were cleaning her house and came along her old sewing machine. So we... We took it to our garage, and it's been in our garage for an extremely long time. And right now in this virus, my cousin Chloe was making masks for people, and she was using a sewing machine to sew it, not this one. So I decided that I wanted to do it too. So we took out this old sewing machine that my grandma used to use, and we started sewing stuff. And even if you don't have a Singer 1425, most sewing machines do the same thing or have the same stuff. And so now let's get started. So first, you will take um, a string roll and the roll to put it on. You'll slide it through with this hole and twist it onto here. And so we got that in and then now you'll try to find the tip of the thread which is right here you'll put it through this hole and you'll hear that little click and so then for this guy we'll put our string through him right there and then the string around and then we'll pull our string down towards the right side towards the right side. And then instead of going down, we're gonna go up and up. And you see this thing? We're gonna go from right to left. Now we're gonna go down, going into the lock. And now there's a little hole that we'll wanna attach our string into. Perfect. And now here's the hard part getting your string into the needle hole. So you, it may help to cut it a little bit so you don't get fuzz in your needle. And you'll basically push it through just like that. And now this level right here is to lift this guy up. So we'll lift it up, take this string and put it underneath like this. Then we'll pull the lever down to secure it. And so now, down here, you're gonna wanna slide this, but not take it off. You'll see there's this little thing. You'll take this out, and this is called the bobbin. Basically, it's the bottom string. There's a top string and a bobbin string. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to wind a bobbin. And so we'll put this guy back in and then we'll take this string and pull it out just like this. And now I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need to prepare before you start stitching anything. So first, over here, this is the tension. This is called a tension. You're gonna to wanna to keep this line at number four. There's zero, one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna to wanna to line it up to four. Now these are the stitch styles. There are different kinds of stitches that you can do. The way that you'll change it, as you see this red dot, it has to line up with this red dot right here and you'll hear a click. You hear that? And then you can remove the arrow to which stitch you want it to be on. For now, let's put it on a zigzag stitch right there. And so now over here, this is called the stitch length. There's zero, one, two, three, and four. It ends at four. You're going to want to take it to two and a half. Two and a half. And so now, over here is the on and off switch. There's either minimum or max. But you're going to want to keep it on minimum. And so this, you see this needle? It 
will move in just a sec. See? That is called the manual stitch over here. This stitch, if you pull it towards you, it'll do a manual stitch. But make sure you're only pulling it towards you. And so now that we've got all of this done, you're probably going to be wondering what this is right here. So basically, I just want to get, get this line in between the 5 and the 6. And so now, it's ready to start sewing. I'm going to give you one little sample of how it should look. Let's see. But I figure that the easiest is A because it's a straight line stitch. So I'm going to move it to A. Perfect. And now lift the lever, put it underneath, right where the needle can stitch it. And you see this pedal right down here? You're going to want to turn your sewing machine on. And then with this pedal, you're going to want to slowly press down. And so that is how you thread a Singer 1425. Thank you for watching. My next video is how to change a needle and how to thread a bobbin right here. And see you next time at Sewing with Faisy.